Stockman to be involved in. What a ball. Boban Dier got, got into space, stayed wide, now can get it across. Oh, he's scored the foot, he's scored the foot. Boban supporters rejoice, but uh, they're going to be disappointed because it's Kampong who run away with the ball. It was a great bit of movement from Boban Dier to create it. Yannick van der Drift, unfortunately unable to get a stick on it. Got a big foot on it instead as it's gone across him like a rocket. Great run there from Boban Dier again. Unfussy player, honest player, Bovendaird again. Sorts his hands out and, well, Hart had a dip of that with his outstretched stick. He wasn't called to make the save. But that wasn't far away at all. Bovendaird protected it brilliantly on the take with his right foot. Really held his foot. That happened. Exactly Sometimes that. just a little wobble it creates. Yes, I think uh, it was an example of trying too hard. Oh, oh flashed across and... That was very close indeed. And a touch from Mullenbrook in front of Stockman's goal. So close to finding inside that far post. No support from Kemperman. He couldn't get a touch. He got a touch on Kellerman's shot yesterday. Max de Brew having to do some superb running inside the circle. Kemperman. Oh! He's found a Junker. Blumendell going straight to the umpire here. He's already asking him for the video referral. I think it's his own video referral. Can you please check uh, if that goal should stand uh, with the five meters from the free hit? Yeah, I will check it. I think so it the umpire also entitled to ask for a, a yeah, referral. Yeah, we are checking here. if the ball travelled five meters. So he's brought it on himself, so it's an umpire's referral. That's gone five. Yeah. That's gone five for me, there was left to right movement before it was even dribbled forwards. So watch this, it goes left, there's a metre there, two metres, back again, another couple of metres. That for me is five. Decision coming. I think that's a goal. I think Blumendahl know it's a goal as well, they haven't had a chance Martin, to view it again me, on the big screen. there was nothing wrong with the goal, so goal stands. So the goal stands. I don't know what Blumendahl are protesting about now. They've seen it on the big screen. The circle it goes, shot coming, my goodness! That was really travelling and Hartley well to keep that one out. What a shot that was. What a pass. Now, here goes Jonker again. Blumendahl a little short of numbers and originally shot comes in. Worried this time. Well, within the space of what, 20 seconds we've seen two Real uh, half chances, a wonderful save at one end from Hart, and then Jonker just missing wide of uh, Stockman's right hand post. But uh, what opportunity wait, 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 now wait. for Blumendahl? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, play there. Sure, man. In for Dwyer, shot comes in, and Hart stretches out. Maybe Hart knows if he keeps a clean sheet, then Kampong get yet another trophy in their cabinet. A lot of movement there. Half a ball in the middle of the circle, wasn't it? Yannick van der Drift got the touch, and then got, so he got the flash shot away, I think. Don't think Hart's 100% uh, happy with his uh, kicker down there. So uh, keeps reaching down and just adjusting things. I'm sure his running repairs have been quite what he uh, would have wanted. Outside the circle. Dwyer pulls it back, Leonard shoots! Oh, my goodness me! Leonard has picked that one out beautifully. And Hart is beaten. The ball was behind him. And into the roof of the net. What a goal. And because they've gone outside for that routine, Nick, that's worth double. That's a, that's a double score. They've worked that brilliantly. That's a training ground routine. The cut across, Dwyer takes it on from Leonard, back from Dwyer to Leonard. Watch them, let it go outside the dotted line. The drive in the underarm ball creates the space. Now, Leonard absolutely nails it. He's middled that over the biggest goalkeeper in the world. Over his shoulder. Clean connection, what a shot that is. Fatigue levels must be incredible. Well... It, it is incredible, the fitness of our players. Oh, oh my no. goodness me! Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. It does not get any better than that.
What a response from Blumenthal, what a finish. A wonderful ball, but there was so much still to be done. Roll Bovendier, take a bow, the touch to score this. I mean, that's the best first time touch I can recall seeing. The overhead is massive. To get the eyes up and throw this ball from here, it's long, it's high. Steps into the free here, gets underneath it and just chugs it on. Watch this, on the bounce, takes the touch, keeps it flat underneath Hart. Wurtelberg has thrown an absolute bomb over the top for Bovendier. Look, he cushions it. That is genius. Soft hands to finish. He got half a metre in front of Fuchs that stopped Fuchs cutting across him. He's got more work to do here, possibly, as well. Now, this is Brinkman. A bit of chicanery on the top of the circle, trying to work the space. This is Dwyer! Side netting. Just the side netting there from Jamie Dwyer. Here we see it again, it's the overlap. Fuchs just drops it for Brinkman, Brinkman left to right, finds the space and then just under his arm to the overlap. Dwyer knew exactly what he wanted, but Hart had it covered. Bovender did it brilliantly just to get out of the way of Sander Devine. Brinkman's running away, Empire's not blown, this could be very interesting. Dwyer is there, he's not gonna need him! Brinkman scores! And Brinkman has almost certainly secured the Euro Hockey League title for Blumendahl on the home turf here. Kambanga looking uh, to go for a video referral. Martin Grochel waving that away, I think. Oh, my goodness, mate. And at the other end, we've got some uh, nonsense going on here. Kempong just losing their self-control. Maybe something's been said. Well, unfortunately, in the very, very beginning of the build-up, the whistle didn't blow, as you said, Nick. Oh, yeah. And there's now a conversation. You cannot ask the video over there. It's inside the 23. But what for? It's inside for I mean, a foot. For foot? Yeah. For a corner? Yeah, for a corner. You, I'm asking for a corner, because it's on the foot and it's inside 23. No, you can, I mean, that's what I can do. You are not asking for a corner, you're asking for a foot yeah, over there. Yeah, I'm asking there. for a video. No. I'm allowed to do it. It's interesting in the conversation because as far as I'm aware you can ask for video. This unfortunately is going to show, and if it is a foot, it is unfortunate. Does that hit the left foot of Vertelberg as it comes through? Jamie Dwyer plays it in, it does, it does hit a foot and it wasn't seen by either umpire. It led to this passage of play that resulted in the goal for Blumendahl. Well, the goal stands. It'll like, also guarantee uh, some talking points afterwards. Vertelberg getting left with the handle. Michel van der Hevel doing his best to stay calm. And I hope this players will do the same. He's hit the post! That's oh my goodness, that was Kaspers with the shot. Oh, that's gone across Stockman's goal and hit the post. And then back onto a player for the corner award. My yeah. goodness me. Oh. Millimetres away. What a shot from Kaspers, how he's got his feet round that and his hands through it to get the power. The man I'm going to nominate isn't involved with it, but he was exceptional all the way through. For me, it's Savi Leonhardt who will get the man of the match. Dwyer, can he finish? He can't. But Blumendahl finish in style here. Hugh Party in the Blumendahl attentive village here. Kampong are champions of the Netherlands. They will not be champions of Europe. The Euro Hockey League trophy, the Alain Dene trophy, will be back in the Blumendahl clubhouse for a third year. It's a team game, it matters not who scores the goal. And listen to the roar of the crowd. On a season that's not been without disappointment for Blumendahl. Ends in joyous scenes here. The upstockman, their goalkeeper, who retires today, is mobbed by the team. And it's all turned out roses here in Blumendahl.
And of course, the roses are orange.